Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. This is such a wonderful day for the last two days. And now for the entire week and month, we're going to be celebrating South Carolina's teachers. And these are the cream of the crop in front of you, our state district teachers of the year. We had a wonderful banquet last night, Governor, with, uh, sponsored by Future Minds, the Center for Recruiter, uh, Teacher Recruiter and Retention. Uh, the State Department of Education. We had hundreds of business folks from South Carolina, legislators there to su support these teachers. We have our five finalists with us. Uh, Elizabeth Hardy, raise your hand Elizabeth, from North Augusta High School in Aiken. Marsha Womble, Great Court Owens in Lawrence District 55. Pam Flynn from Broom High School in Spartanburg 3, right? And Mary Woodward from Florence 5. A Florence One, excuse me, North Vista <laughs> Elementary, and our newly named State Teacher of the Year, Aaron Fox from Gaffney High School in Cherokee County. So congratulations to all of you. I want to give a special thank you again to Future Minds and to Bo Jangles is here to celebrate with us today. Bo Jangles has done a fantastic job of celebrating teachers and supporting teachers across South Carolina. We're very honored to have their CEO, Clifton Rutledge, here to bring greetings. Well, thank you very much, Molly, and everybody that is uh, for here to be a part of this great event today. The teachers, uh, we hope that you enjoyed your breakfast this morning. Everybody liked their biscuits. <laughs> Uh, and it's an honor and a privilege to be surrounded by the best and brightest educators in the state of South Carolina. To start off, I want to congratulate Ms. Erin Fox. Congratulations again to, uh, of our 2017 South Carolina Teacher of the Year. You've done some tremendous things at your school and you set an example that everyone, your peers, your students, and certainly all of us here in attendance today, and again, thank you and congratulations for, for, for your award. This is the eighth year the, the Bojangles partnership with South Carolina Future Minds. And it is truly a, a pleasure for us to support this great organization. And I continue to be impressed by their level of commitment to promoting excellence in South Carolina public education system. Many of the teachers here today joined us at events at Bojangles restaurants across the state this year as we celebrated each of the 83 district teachers of the year and donated more than 3,200 books to your schools. This brings us to a total of 23,000 books that have been donated over eight years partnering with the South Carolina Future Minds. We thank each of you for joining us, and again, it's an honor as a guest of the Teacher of the Year events, and we hope that your students will enjoy these books for years to come. We are truly blessed as an organization to even play a small part in supporting all of your efforts. We look forward to honoring teachers throughout Teacher Appreciation Month in May. And we are thrilled for our in-store fundraiser that will start in September, at the beginning of the school year. Last year, we raised more than $40,000, and we hope to exceed that amount this year. On behalf of everyone at Bojangles, it is an honor for us to be a part of today's event. And we thank each of you and every one of the teachers both here and those in schools for all the fantastic work that each of you do every day. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you, Clifton. We're, we really appreciate Bojangles, all the sponsors. Erin got the keys last night, Governor, to a brand new BMW to drive for her year while she <laughs> serves as an ambassador and a voice for the over 50,000 public school teachers in South Carolina. We're so honored to have the support of our legislators uh, here today and our new governor who is committed to moving and advancing public education in our state. I appreciate him working so closely with me. Governor, we're honored to have Thank you with you. us today. Governor Henry Thank McMaster. You, Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Mr. Rutley. Is in this great state of South Carolina, we are always looking to help the people grow and learn. And it is clear that we have a lot of economic engines. One of them is our great tourism industry. Another, our great agricultural industry. Another engine is the is the port. We have a, a lot of in, engines, the technical 
colleges, the research universities, but really the greatest economic engine of all for the future of our state are represented by these people standing here, and that is the educators, the people that teach the young people what to do. They not only teach them facts and figures, but also teach them how to think, and they inspire them with curiosity, with ambition, and that is what takes our state forward. Our state is moving forward fast. We are we're outrunning the competition. It is because we have learned that the future lies in brain power, creativity, and innovation, and we have plenty of it. And Mr. Rutledge, I'm, I'm pleased that he is here representing Bojangles. They do a fine work in this state, including the Darlington 500, as you may know. <laughs> and there's a parallel here and there, because there, they are sponsoring an event to have the drivers in these vehicles and those that work on them to, to hone their skills to learn and go faster and faster and safely around that track. Well, what the teachers are doing in our state is the same thing with the young people, is inspiring them, filling them with curiosity and ambition about learning, a love of learning which is endless. So this is the greatest economic engine that we have in our state. Those are our teachers. So with that, I would like to read a proclamation. And it says as follows, State of South Carolina Governor's Proclamation, whereas Dedicated teachers across the Palmetto State are committed to providing quality educational opportunities to all students. And whereas serving as educators, coaches, motivators, and mentors, teachers help equip, equip students with the knowledge and skills essential to their future success. And whereas teachers strengthen our communities by laying the foundation for a lifetime of good citizenship. And whereas the 2017 Observance of Teacher Appreciation Month offers an opportunity to acknowledge our teachers and the important role they play in shaping the future of our state. Now, therefore, I, Henry McMaster, Governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim May 2017 as Teacher Appreciation Month throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to recognize the invaluable contributions and positive impact of teachers in the Palmetto State. And it's signed by me, Governor of the State of South Carolina, and thank you, and Ms. Fox, congratulations to you and all of the great teachers we have in South Carolina. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. We are gonna go home refreshed, relaxed, and our teachers more, even more motivated to inspire the children of South Carolina to be the best of what they can be. Thank you all for being here today. It's a great day, and we're now gonna go and visit in our chambers. Thank you so much for attending.